Hello and welcome to this video where we will learn how to use the reduce function in Excel. And we will use this to extract the last names from the names in column A of this sheet. You can see that they are irregular with a different number of first names and last names, but the last names are identified because they are capitalized. So we want to extract only the words that are uppercase. Now, what is the reduce function? Well, it is a function that applies a lambda, so a calculation that we decide on, to each value in an array and reduces the result to the accumulated value. So our goal is to split the name into its individual parts and we'll use the text split function for that and then we will run the reduce function on the array returned by text split and this reduce function will perform a calculation the lambda on each part of that array accumulating it as it goes and reduces it to the accumulated value Okay, so let's get started with this. So in cell B2, let me just begin by using the text split function. And I'll use this on the value in A2. And then for the column delimiter, I'll specify the space character. So a really simple text split here. You can learn more about that function outside of this video if you're interested. But for now, that will do the job of opening up that array. I can then send that down to the bottom and we can see we have our array of results. So what we now want to do is use that reduce function on these arrays to test each part and see whether it's in uppercase or not. And if it is, concatenate it to the previous part, the accumulated value, and then reduce it to that accumulation. So let's go back in and see the reduce function. So if I start with reduce here, and you can see it prompts us for three different bits of information. The first one is the initial value. Now for us, that is nothing. So I'm going to put in an empty string for the beginning value, the initial value. I'll put in my comma, so it then prompts for the array that we want it to loop over, that it needs to apply that lambda to. And for us, that is the result of text split. So let me just use the formula bar here and I'll put a comma on the end. And now we're on to the function. And this must be a lambda function. So let's put in lambda. Now a lambda is really just a custom function. I've done a separate video on Lambda that you can check out in the description of this video. But here we can define any calculation that we want. First of all, we have to define the two parameters that the reduce function requires. These parameters are just a name that we can use in our calculation and is going to act as the accumulated value and as the individual value. So we can name them anything we want, as long as we stick within the rules of not using a name that's already assigned to something and we're using characters that are okay to use. So I'm going to call the accumulated value ACC. And then for the second parameter, which is the value itself, I'll just assign the letter V, V for value. And when I put in my comma, we're now onto the calculation. We're going to use an if function to test each part of this array. The logical test will be to test if that word is in uppercase. Now to do this, I will use the exact function and we'll test if uh, V, the value, comma, is equal to that same value, but in uppercase. So I'll use the upper function here to convert, if needed, that value to uppercase and we'll check if they're exactly the same. If they are, it means that the word, the value, is uppercase. Let me just close off the exact function and we'll move on to the action to perform if that is true. 
Well, if that's true, we want to concatenate, we want to merge the current value with the currently accumulated value. Now, remember the parameter acting as the accumulated value is ACC. And I'll concatenate that with the ampersand to a space because we would like a space in between the different words. That will then be followed by the current value. So join the current value onto the accumulated value. Otherwise, just return the accumulated value. Okay, so this is looking good. That's the end of the if function. And we will also need to close down our lambda and also close down reduce. And with this at the moment, if I press enter, we have a result. I can then drag that to the bottom for all of the others. And we have the extracted uppercase words, i.e. their last names. Now you may notice that there is a space at the beginning of each of those last names. So let's make another modification to this here. And I'll add the trim function around the extracted results. And that will remove any unnecessary spaces. But I'll put in a trim and that will remove the space. So pretty awesome. We've been able to write a formula to extract only uppercase letters. How cool is that? Now, for those of you who are new to this function, I hope this made sense. The reduce function can be quite an advanced function to get our head around. But essentially here, we were able to perform a calculation to the individual parts of an array and in return its accumulated value only. If you did like this video and you found any part of it useful, then please hit that thumbs up. And if you liked it, why not subscribe to the channel so that you will be kept up to date with the latest tutorials and tips being released at this channel. Thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you again soon.